Andrew McCart, IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. I'm here with Akib Fiaz. Uh, you're in Las Vegas, man. How are you soaking up all this fight fight week atmosphere? Yeah, it's amazing, isn't it? Um, like boxing capital of the world, isn't it? So great experience for me. Get some sparring in and get some training out here. And yeah, just, you know, getting used to it, hopefully, for one day when I box here. Yeah, one day, you, definitely. But you're not just, like you said, you've got some sparring in here. You've been training hard. This isn't just a a week's holiday to support Chantel. You've actually been putting in the work as well because you, you are going to be out uh, sometime in the summer, aren't you? I think it's the fight camp, is it? Yeah, uh, fight camp. Um, I think it starts end of July. So I'm looking to get... I spoke to Eddie the other day and he says, yeah, you're on. So um, like you say, start, starting camp out here, no better place for it. And hopefully top it off with a big win for Chantel as well. Talk to me about Chantel then, the mandatory challenge of uh, Melissa Hernandez for her WBC world title. She seems up for it, uh, Melissa. She seems to be, well, she's been sticking her tongue out at Chantel and stuff like that. We know Chantel, man. She's cool, calm and collective, but she's a spiteful wee soul when it comes in that ring. So talk to me about uh, Chantel's mi- mindset going into this fight. Yeah, she's cool, calm and collective, like you said, but she's nasty as well, you know what I mean? So when the bell goes, I, I feel sorry for Hernandez, you know what I mean? And she has been taunting Chantel a little bit. But she's going to pay the price, in my opinion. And Chantel's looked really good. Uh, she did a last little punch on Wednesday. Looked really, really sharp. So, you know, I'm looking forward to a big performance from her. And we all expect a big performance, really. You've been sparring Chantel. Uh, what's it like sparring, sparring her? I and mean, like I said, she is quite spiteful. Everyone says how spiteful she is in that ring. But does she take liberties on you? Does she try and knock you out? What, what, what's, the, what's the spars like? Chantel's business all the time, man. She doesn't she didn't try and slow down. You know what I mean? She doesn't think, oh, I'm sparring a guy here. You need to be careful or anything. She doesn't care. You know what I mean? She sparred me. I think I was the last spar, actually. We did eight rounds. And because it's two minutes as well, the pace is like a lot higher than mm. our three minute rounds. So it was it was hard, hard work. Do you know what I mean? I had, to try, I had to work really hard. Do you know what I mean? And she's really, really good, in my opinion. Like, And I was just trying to be like Hernandez moving, ducking, diving. But Hernandez is going to be in trouble, man. Yeah, yeah. Um, like, Chantel's always been screaming for that big fight, that Katie Taylor fight, or whoever, because that's sort of like 135, 140, that's my American accent coming out there, did you hear that? 135, uh, 135, 140, sort of weight classes stacked with talent with uh, Katie Taylor, obviously, and Tasha Jonas hovering around there as well, so she wants them big fights, she wants that Katie Taylor fight, do you think if she becomes undisputed at 140 and she gets there quickly, you can make the undisputed versus undisputed uh, with Katie Taylor? Is that, and also, is that a fight you like to see? Yeah, without a shadow of a doubt. Um, I've I've heard, I've not seen Chantel spar Tasha Jonas. Obviously, she's a good fighter as well. We've seen her have a good fight with Katie last time. But, you know, she does really, she, apparently she does really well in the spars. I've not seen them. But I think Chantel's the only girl, to, you know, especially British, that causes Katie Taylor a lot of problems. And I think that's a fight that needs to happen. Um, I, I know Katie's coming towards the end of her career, but it'd be, you know, it'd be, it'd be a shame if we didn't see that fight. I think we need to see it, yeah. Flipping the script a little bit here, we're going. I want to take you back to last weekend with Josh Taylor. We, we spoke a little bit coming before we done this interview. Uh, Josh Taylor's achievements and how good he is and stuff like that. But just talk to me about a little, little bit, Josh, and what he's done in 18 fights, become undisputed uh, world champion, and your thoughts on the fight last weekend. Yeah, it was great, great performance from him. And you know what? I loved it because you always get you know people saying, "Oh, these Brits go over to America and they never, they never do anything there." And it was just a proud moment for us all, really, as Brits, to see Josh Taylor do that. And it was a great performance. And you know. He's always an exciting fight. We were talking before, the pro Grey fight. I, I love that fight. Mm. Um, and obviously, the other weekend as well. It was a great performance and I'm, I'm happy for him, do you know what I mean? And as a Brit, like I said, I, it, it was a proud moment because we always get, oh, the American fighters are a different level and stuff. And it just goes to show that they're not, do you know what I mean? And Josh showed that. Well, you know what I'm, you know what I'm going to next. Uh, your gym mate and your friend Jack Carroll is mandatory challenger for Josh now. It, Josh is wanting that Edinburgh fight, he's wanting that Easter Road fight, he's wanting that Castle fight. Um, but there's also the, the money fight with Bud Crawford and, and all these other guys, Teofimo Lopez is calling him out now. But for Jack, who's been in that mandatory position for, for two years now, he does deserve a shot, to be fair to Jack, doesn't he? And uh, just Jack versus Josh Taylor, I mean, what's that? That's, that's not a good fight, isn't it? And uh, your thoughts on that? Yeah, like you said, Jack, you know, he stepped aside. He mm. could have forced his mandatory position. He's been mandatory for two years now, maybe longer, actually. Mm. Um, and, and, it's a gr- and it's a great fight, trust me. You know, a lot of people are writing Jack off, but, you know, you know, mm. I know, Jack's a top, top fighter and, he, and he's at that level, he, he belongs there. So he's beat everyone domestically. And in my opinion, Josh is just coming off the biggest win of his life. So he'll be expecting a big, big performance in Scotland and, you know, be able to just walk through Jack and that won't happen. Mm. And I think he'll be in for a surprise like a lot of people will. Do you think Jack would be, well, obviously with the Ramirez, the Progre and the Brand Chicks and, and all these guys, 
would Jack be Josh's toughest test in your eyes? Yeah, um, and especially the fact that Jack's British. I think Josh, you know, obviously you want you have that. He's, he's now undisputed, isn't he? So he expects to be the best fighter for coming from the UK. Yeah. That's Jack now. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna hold it. You talk yeah. to the camera. Talk to the camera. I'll bring Jack in. Talk to the camera. Keep the See? bands in the team. Yeah. So Jack <laughs> Cashel's just knocked on the door. See, that's a sign. He, he knows. He's sharp. <laughs> As soon as you mention his name. As soon as you mention your name, you come in. See? Oh, that's it, the fucking stars are aligned. That's it, the stars are aligned. Alright, so we've just been talking about the Josh Taylor fight, Jack. He says that you're gonna get smoked. <laughs> <laughs> nah, joking. Nah, don't you jump in here, jump in, come on. There we go. Yeah, so we're talking about obviously the Josh Taylor fight and the, how long you've been mandatory and he's, he's saying that you need this big fight to bring up the best Jack, Jack Carter and stuff like that and how you will be Josh's toughest test, albeit with the progress fights and stuff like that. Um, I've spoke to you twice now in interviews. We've spoke a lot off camera, but I've seen your posts. I've seen you pin putting up on your Instagram story and all this sort of stuff. Yeah. Uh, you want this fight badly, don't you? Yeah, of course. I've, I've waited a long time for me, world title shot. And like Akib said, I think a fight like Josh will bring the best out of me. I mean, I beat everybody domestically and I feel like I've done it probably in first or second gear, I've not had that mm. like inside of me where I really want to not even prove people wrong, but show what I can do in the ring. And mm. I think a fight like this, going to the to the Lions, then going up to Scotland, all stacked against me, I think you'll see the best version of me out there. You, you've seen him in the gym. How good How good is he and how good can he be? I could... Listen, I like, like many people, I was of the opinion like, you know, Jack, he's a good British fighter and then until I got in the gym with him and I seen the level that he spars at and the level that he can, you know, be at. Like Carl, I've heard Carl Frampton say, he never stays back and watches anyone spar and I've seen him stay back and watch Jack spar. That's crazy because he said that about Josh as well, yeah, Josh, yeah. Carl. So this, if Carl's saying this, then Carl's a good boxing man. If he's saying he stays back to watch Jack spar and he stays back to watch Josh, then he knows a thing or two about boxing. So this could be a tasty fight. Exactly that, and I think everyone's underestimating Jack. So that that alone, if they are, if Josh Josh's team are underestimating Jack, they're in for a shock. Do you know what I mean? Because Jack's deceivingly better than what they think. I want to flip the script then. How good can this man be then, Jack? Phenomenal. <laughs> uh, I've been in the gym with Akib now for how long? Been in the gym with you for About two and a half years. Two and a half years, mm -hmm. and you know what? At the the rate he's progressing, it's it's so rapid. I think every fight and every camp that we see Akib train for, uh, just going through the levels. I think the time that he spent uh, sparring the likes of Frampton, uh, going away, look, training camps, even stuff like we went to the top-ranked boxing gym yesterday and he sparred, phenomenal spar. People would appear to watch it, but I just think at 21 years old, 20 years old, or 21? 21. 21 years old, I think. On, the rate is progressing. Terrible. The rate is progressing is, is phenomenal. And I look back at when I was 21 and how I think Akib's years ahead of me when I was 21, so big things for Akib. He's just saying that. He's just saying that because you're here, right? Yeah. Uh, nah, I doubt that. I doubt that very much. <laughs> Akib, I know that you're 6-0 right now. You're doing everything, but I was looking at your record and you, you don't have a stoppage yet, but you're fighting guys that are difficult to stop. I mean, like Kane Baker, obviously tough. And then I think it was Dean did the fight before that. He lost 27 times, but only been stopped once. I mean... They're putting you in with guys that are going to give you the rounds. So the rounds, you're fit. We know you can do the rounds easy. But when you go into the eight-round fights, the ten-round fights, even the championship round fights, is that when you're going to start breaking your... Because obviously you need the longer rounds and you're going to start breaking your opponents down and then we're going to see the stoppages. Is that, is that what you think uh, will happen next? Well, I don't know really. I just try and win, you know what I mean? I've not been putting easy fights really. I, from my second fight, you know, I was chucked in the deep end against guys a lot bigger and winning records as well so it's not about the stoppages I, I'm, I'm in there you know and I'm gaining valuable experience like I said I've, and I've improved so much I never used to box at all you know I used to just fight and scrap mm. and then my last fight James says listen you'll have to box here and you know it was about the experience more than anything and I had to I had to follow a game plan which I couldn't do over three rounds as an amateur so doing it over eight rounds it was a big box tick for me and yeah going forward like you say boxing now because obviously we get the day before wins and I was all in match room so I'm looking forward to fighting at my own weight, to be fair, because before I was fighting against a boxer light middleweight in my mm -hmm. second fight, do you know what I mean? And I'm only a super feather, so 
I think, yeah, going forward, you will see stop stoppages. And like I say, I'm only 21, so, you know, I'm doing some good strength work as well with Jack and uh, Johnny Velocity as well. So, yeah, I'm getting stronger too, so... I think you will, yeah. Strong like bull. Strong like bull, yeah. <laughs> Strong like bull. Um, also, it's like you're you're even uh, you're ranked at lightweight on box rec as well. So yeah. they must you've been obviously fighting at the in the wrong weight division. You're fighting bigger guys, so you are going to take that step down to super featherweight and start making an assault on on in, in that division. Yeah. So last time was my first day before weighing, and I did nine stone five, so it was only a pound off championship weight. So yeah, super featherweight is the weight for me and. Uh, I look forward to getting some good fights domestically in, in the next coming year, yeah. There's a third man, fourth man in this room. He doesn't want to be on camera. Look at him, he's nervous, like he's going to run away, look! I'm going. <laughs> nah, uh, I'll, I'm going to make it my mission before I go home to get that man on camera. Uh, Sam, you ready? I'll only do it if, if Jamie tells me I have to do it, otherwise I'll yeah, just uh, uh, I'm going to I'm going to go on it, Jamie. Go on, like, you, you give each other plaudits, right? Both of you, I'll give you the mic, give that man some plaudits. I I can't because he's my brother. Go on, Jack. <laughs> you know what? Asam Fiaz, Akib's brother, doesn't get the credit he deserves. What a guy! What a guy! Unsung he's got a he's got a full time job. Are you, are you recording us as well? I'm not, I'm not are you recording? A hero if you're sing about it. Yeah, I mean, no, but you've got a full time <laughs> job and you show the support you show your brother. Not even your brother, like your class as all as your family. You, Obviously, you support your siblings, you come to the gym, you work with your brother at night, but to come to the gym off your own accord and help me, Chantel, Carl, and do the work that you do, it's massive, but at the same time, the experience you're gaining. Oh, I, I think, I I think, do think do in the do future, do. even though I think you're a great coach, but I think in the future you'll have your own stable yeah. of champions because of the work that you do now off your own back. Hey, yeah. Jesus! Oh, fuck I love you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> right, I won't give you, I won't, uh, Andrew, aka, won't keep you much longer. So, Akib, it was always a pleasure talking to you, my man. Uh, you've always got a smile on your face. You're cool, calm all the time. That whole gym seems to be a cool, calm, collective, relaxed gym. Uh, Jack, you, you don't give it. You're like, you're so laid back. You're so laid back. Everyone's just laid back. So it's, it's obviously a, a, a good gym. You're, you're thriving off each other. Yeah, um, we're all laid back, but. Like I say, Chantel tonight, she's not going to be, and I feel sorry for Hernandez. Yeah, you said that. You feel sorry for Hernandez, Jack? Of course I do, yeah. Chantel's fired up, ready to go, so, I mean, we can chill out tomorrow, but tonight she's going to be on fire. Definitely will. Let's uh, it's fight night. We've got to get ready to enjoy these fights, because I know it's an early start today at 2, two I've got to be ready for 2pm, it's a 3pm start, so, um, Team Chantel, good luck, and uh, I'll hopefully see you at fight camp. Thank you. Cheers, Andy. Cheers, guys. Thank you. Cheers.